Hello LEGO fans, adult fan of LEGO UK here. Uh, welcome to my review of the LEGO Star Wars set 75002, the ATRT. This is for ages 7 to 12. It comes with a piece count of 222 and it retails in the UK for £19.99 from the LEGO store or the LEGO store online. It's part of the LEGO Star Wars Summer 2013 wave. So straight into the review. Show you the box first. You can see there, 75002 ATRT. You can see the ATRT on the front there. And obviously we've got Yoda, Star Wars with a Yoda, um, which is the 2013 theme um, for that particular wave. Down on the front we can see there the minifigures that come with this set. So we have Yoda, the 501 Legion Clone Trooper and the um, Commando Droid Captain. Um, and obviously I'll show you those um, in the actual review itself. On the rear of the box has normal um, features um, of the actual set itself which we can see there in some of the pictures movable legs, the turret etc. I'll show you that in the main review. The instructions uh, come with the set so you can see there the actual picture detail so as you can see the pictures um, printed in portrait however the actual manual itself is in landscape um, so you can see there it comes with three bags one, two, and three, and each one. So that's in bag one. That's part of bag two, and then that's bag three. Um, the normal mini field, mini figure um, instructions, stroke build. The rear, standard rear of the instruction manual, Lego Club, some of the um, summer 2013 Star Wars wave. Uh, we have the minifigures from that wave, which is always great to have. And the inventory, so the Lego inventory for this particular set. We have a build count of, I can get that to zoom in, 56 pages. The final page is just a picture of the completed the completed set itself with the minifigures. Okay, so onto the review itself. I'm going to start with the actual uh, with the ATRT itself. So I'm going to give you a review of that with the 501 um, Trooper um, actually on the ATRT. Um, and then I'll give you a review separately of the minifigures at the end. Normally I'll do the minifigures first, but this time round um, I'm going to show you the actual ATRT um, itself. So, here we go. Just go into if I can. Okay, so here we can see it here. Really cool looking actually in the blue and the grey. So we've got a combination of blue bricks, um, light bruise, bluish grey and dark bluish grey um, bricks on this. So some of the features are this will move left to right, which is the actual cannon itself. You have these pieces on the visor here, which move. The actual visor itself will move up and down like so. And again on that side of that piece there. Okay, the feet. These move as well. You can see. Like that. And also the different sections there and the feet themselves will also move. You've got this toe piece here as well, which moves. You can see there. And again, they move. They move there like so, and again, 
exactly the same um, on the other side. Inside, or rather at the top of it, is obviously where our uh, 501 Legion um, Trooper sits. Clone Trooper, 501 Clone Trooper sits there controlling the ATRT. You can see him there holding the handlebars, and behind him there is space for his blaster. Hopefully, you can see there. The rear here, we have some antennas. Okay, and just to point out, these are all stickers. So, we have a sticker there, a sticker there, and that's a sticker there, and then again, 501, a sticker there. That's pretty much it for the ATRT itself. Looks really cool. Then we have the sniper droid. So this is sniper droid, which also comes with this set. You can see here. So we have some movable pieces there. Obviously, these here will move, although not particularly meant to. That's the actual cannon piece itself it doesn't move we have obviously the feet at the bottom these pieces can move although they're not really designed to move they stay in that position but yeah fairly basic set but it's good that we have this that comes with the ATRT so that's a spider droid not a great deal more you can spin that top piece round if you want to um, but that's that Okay, so on to the minifigures. Okay guys, first off we have our commando droid captain. You can see here, holding a blaster. Just going to remove the blaster. Okay, as you can see here, the red dot on this front torso. See his head printing. But nothing too special about these droids. Remember that is the commando droid captain. So this one is the captain. Okay, next one we have Yoda. Which in my opinion is a bit of an unusual addition to this set. Um, as far as I'm aware... You don't have Yoda in any of the actual scenes. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but it just seems a bit bizarre having Yoda as part of this set, but I'm not complaining. Um, so he comes with obviously the green lightsaber. I'm just going to remove that. Let me show you. Lightsaber there with kind of the chrome silver hilt. I see Yoda's front torso printing. He's rear torso printing, and this is the a version with the white hair. And again, he's kind of rubberized ears. You see his face detail there. I mean, quite cool. So that is Yoda. And our final one, and in my opinion the coolest uh, minifigure, is our 501st Legion uh, Clone Trooper. And again he comes with the blaster, you can see there, which I'm going to remove. As you can get a better look at the printing, some good printing here. So we have front torso printing, and you can see all the blue detail. We also have front leg printing again. You can see the blue detail on the knee areas there. Really good. Because of the blue arms. A rear sort of torso printing. Kind of standard. And then his helmet again. Looks really cool. Looks actually almost menacing. Um, with his blue printing on there and his visor. Hopefully you can pick up the detail on the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. Just going to remove his helmet so you can see his face detail. 
see there, kind of the standard clone trooper face, it's single sided, and that's it guys, final view, okay. Okay, so there we go. Hope you enjoyed that review um, of LEGO Set 75002, the ATRT. As always, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, please provide me with your feedback in the comments section. Um, please do go ahead and share this video. And of course, if you haven't done so already, ready, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks very much for viewing this video. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.